Grade 8 Math, number 3.1b, Proportional Relationships with Equations. Okay, I'm going to go over this really quick one more time so that you're with me here. A proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equivalent. And a ratio is a comparison of two quantities using a quotient, like a half equals two-fourths. And there are also equivalent ratios that half and two-fourths, the ratios that name the same comparison. A constant, and that's what we're going to talk about in this unit, is a value that doesn't change. A rate is a ratio that compares to quantities that are measured in different units, like miles per hour or gallons per minute. And a unit rate, that's the second quantity in a compared rate that only is one unit, okay? If you're really confused about proportions, try going back to my grade 7 math pro, uh, playlist and watch 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3 videos, and that'll help you. You can also try watching 3.1a, the video before this one. So this is proportional relationships with equations. In the last video, we did acres compared to city blocks, and we came up with this table. And the ratio of the distance in city blocks to the distance in acres is constant. This relationship is proportional. A proportional relationship is a relationship between two quantities in which the ratio of one quantity to the other quantity is constant. It's a value that doesn't change. This is not going to change. Now these are approximate values because 2 is really closer to 17 city blocks. But I tried to keep the proportions the same, so I used 1 to 8. And this isn't going to change. The size of acres and city blocks are not going to change. So they're constant. A proportional relationship can be described by the equation y equals kx. And k is a number called the constant of proportionality. We can also use the equation in another form, k equals y over x. So see, here we did it as multiplication, k times x. Here we're doing it as division, y over x. Now the reason the y got put over the x and the k got put on the other side of the equal sign is if k times x is equal to y, right here, then y divided by x is going to equal k. It's like if 2 times 5 equals 10, then 10 divided by 5 equals 2. See? If k times x equals y, then y divided by x equals k. See, it's just the inverse, isn't it? All right. Lisa earns $12 per hour as a cake decorator, and we can make a table that relates the amounts she earns in proportion to the amount of hours she works. She works one hour, she's going to make $12. If she works two hours, she's going to make $24. Four hours is going to be $48, and eight hours will be $96. Since the ratio for all the quantities, oops, I spelled quantities wrong, didn't I? Quantities. Since the ratio for all the quantities are 1 to 12, see? 1 to 12. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 12 is 24. 4 times 12 is 48. See? So the ratio for all the quantities are 1 to 12. The relationship is proportional. We can write an equation and let x equal the number of hours and y equal the amount she earned. We'll use this ratio 1 to 12 as the constant of proportionality. She's not going to make a different amount of money per hour. It's going to be at $12 per hour for a while. So we're going to use y equals kx, so y is going to equal 12 over 1, $12 over 1 hour, times x. Or y is going to be equal to 12x, 12 times x. See? When working with a word problem, a table can help us write an equation. We make the table, we fill in the ratios, we write an equation that shows what x and y are equal. It tells what the variables represent. We use the ratio as a constant of proportionality. y equals k times x, or k equals y divided by x. So remember, fractions are just little division problems, right? So that's how we can use equations. So you're going to come across this k equals y over x and y equals kx using proportions, OK? So we've got to get used to seeing it, all right? All right, we're going to talk about how we can do this with graphs and how we can see proportional relationships with graphs, OK? I'll see you next video. Don't forget I'm on Twitter and hit the Like button if I'm helpful. Bye.